So, this is a four foot top bar hive and we have to move it, bees and all. So we're going to remove all the bees and put them into smaller boxes, which we've got ready over here. And uh, this colony is going to be um, split up into smaller colonies and requeened because they're a little bit on the feisty side and um, this is one of the reasons why they have to be moved. So here we go. It's a nice hive job. Hmm, I'm quite pleased with it. <laughs> Is that a special tool for... Yes. Where's our entrance? So this is empty space here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, you've gone for triangular guides, very nice. Okay. So... Just comb about three bars in. Quite a lot of bees. There's a collapsed comb on the floor, which looks like it's got where well, it has definitely got nectar in it. Was that for a casualty of the last? No, um, they were all they were intact before. I'm just using. Uh, powdered sugar instead of smoke here, so often that just uh, gives them enough enough problems flying to calm them down. We shall see, a little bit on the feisty side. Hmm, not to say completely wild. <laughs> oh, good. I think I might put gloves on at this point. Yeah. Mm. So you're saying, Anne, about going home then? Yeah. yeah, you said I could walk, <laughs> didn't you? Yeah, these are the sort of bees we, we try to avoid keeping, really, if we can. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better, actually. <laughs> no, it does. <laughs> Who gave you these? <laughs> yeah, I'm going back there again. Should we send the boys around? <laughs> Okay, um, right, let's, could we have, um, uh, let's start with the larger of the boxes, I think, if we can have that within range, <laughs> somewhere here-ish, um, I think you could take everything out of it, actually, all those bars and, and followers can come out. And come out. Exminster, oh right, now we're going to be moving back to Manly very shortly. These are interesting bees, aren't they? 
That's one word for them, yeah. Mm. So this is an absolute no. no. No, no, no. They'd be much more well. Right, okay. Quite an interesting shape. Yeah. Are they quite short? They're short and fat. Aren't they? breath like me. It's the way that they don't really hassle your face. <laughs> what did you have for supper? Oh. Now you can have garlic and they're not supposed to like that. Yeah, I've had a lot of garlic in the last few days. They're bringing in nectar, okay. some tall narrow bottles that completely unstable. Mm -hmm. Here you go, John.
Thank <laughs> you. 
you got to let them leave it. Can we do it now then? It's kind of a bit late really. I've got a thin shin, um, a thin, a narrow What have you got, Bill? Yeah, let's have a look. Bar that can go yeah. against the wall here. Uh, there's a few on the ground there under the. Um, Say again? There's a few on the ground under the hive. They're, they're a bit ultra thin. I'm Are they too thin? Something. Oh, they do something a good quarter of an inch. Could you use several of these? Joe? Could you use. That's about all we've got there. Okay. Um, I've got my. Um, Three of these together. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think we could just do it actually. We got an empty box somewhere. Tell you what, that that, that my national nuke box would do it. Could, could you bring that down, please? You, no, leave the frames in. Leave the frames in. I just the, I'm just using it as a stand. Leave the frames in and put that piece of wood over the top of it. It's got a kind of impromptu. Bit. Basically, close it up, really, is what I mean. Other way up. That's it. Okay, so what I want to do is move the hive. Thank <laughs> you. 
Will they, um, <clears throat> as night falls, just go in there? Say again? As night comes, will they just go in there? Um, I think, is there room? Yeah, I think maybe. I feel a few around the back of my leg. Mm -hmm. 